Okay, this 30 pound bag is equivalent to 50. And there's no polymer in it, but I'm substituting it with this over here, this quick creep. All right. Um, concrete bonding agent, adhesive. Remember, that's a plant, rise like a plastic. So it takes the place of, this it works out really well. You can also give it a three quarter inch slump or build up. All right, so let's put this in. Okay, I'm making this stick, remember. Let this dust settle where I can see what's going on. All right, let's see how thick it is. It helps if I plug it in, don't it? All right, let's see how thick this is going to be. Yes, this is very dry and clumpy. Little goes a long way. Don't want to overdo it. And you don't want to breathe this powder. You do not want to breathe it. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough or I'll be adding a little more or a little more thin set. All right, now let's check the consistency. Look at this. That's about like concrete. Almost. All right, that should be good enough or I can mix it a little thicker and or I could add a little more or a little water to it as well. Well, I have to say this is probably a little bit more like peanut butter. I mean, it's thick. As you can see here, it's just really thick. Okay. I may make it a little bit thicker for the purpose of raising up the edge. All right. And staying in place. All right. I added more thin set. It's really, this is more like concrete. All right. Real dense. Okay, now I'm gonna put this here on the back side where I want it to be a little higher. All right. You can see how it's spreading. Okay, I actually have more than I need. I'm gonna use it and I'll spread it across. Now this is super, super thick. Um, I didn't tell you, I'm sure you'd be going, hey, he just mixed that really thick. He added more to it. Fence it, yeah, I did. Not that much, and really. Um, I may have added like a half a cup to this. I'm not exactly sure, but it wasn't much. Okay, I'm gonna. Now, the other thing I can do now that it's thick, I can add a little bit of water to this and thin it down when I'm done here. I could have made two separate containers of thin set, one with this heavy thick mud in it, and then one mixed about like peanut butter, about the consistency it was when I started. But this way all I do is I just add a little water or a little bit more of that concrete adhesive, and I'm good, okay? But now, just down here, I'll, just, I'll add the concrete adhesive. And we will be dialed in. And it'll be thinned down, and um, it'll work well now. All right, I have these leveling spacers. Okay, already put them in after you set the tile. All right. I like keeping my edges nice and clean. All right, as you can see, it's higher in the back. I'll match it up to the tile up against the 
vanity here. All right. Now, I'm going to come in where I can kind of adjust this and control it. Okay. Now, I'm going to press it down some and make the necessary adjustments. Let's see if I can't get you down here where I'm working so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully there you go let me zoom in a little more here all right now you get up close and personal with your work all right All right, I'm going to take this piece back away. All right. Okay, I got that there. Nice and tight here. All right. Get it fleshed up here. Do the back side of this tile up against the vanity. All right, if we get to kick plate, toe kick. All right, now I like to go in towards the piece that's already set or the piece that's in front. All right, they do have a little, little device that you can put on these clips that squeeze it down. But I push the clip kind of forward and then I pull it back and I push in with my thumb on the clip, on the shim, the wedge. Okay, and I lock that down. This levels it out. And uh, feel it here at the joint. That joint feels good. All right. Now, Get this leveled out here. All right, got to get this pushed forward. Now remember, there's a slight bow on these longer tile that shows up a little bit more, and that's a drawback to these longer tile is they have a few more imperfections. Um, and here I'm going to have to adjust this, which I don't like to do. All right, but we want our corners equal, even, flush, straight and even. Okay, that needs to come out here more. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that. Now that I've got this where I want it, and now I'm going to push it back towards this other tile here and I'm going to have to put out a little shim these wedges are perfect for all kinds now I can make a wooden shim easily enough okay but the classic ones are just so convenient and you can use these for woodworking and I use it for um, keeping holding my tile when I cut my tile on a wet tile saw. Um, shims, you know, and so these plastic shims are great just for GP, for different things. Okay, now I've got that set. That's nice and even. Now I can put these shims in here, and this just feels good here. All right. Okay, what I do is I press, it pushes this leveling spacer forward, and I pull it back with my thumb. Press in, push it back, forward, push it back. <clears throat> That's good and solid, okay? Good and firm. All right. Now I need to 
use that one, but I like using two for GP. That pushes shim forward. That pushes the spacer forward. Then you come back. Sometimes it takes a little bit of doing, and that's why they make this tool for doing it. It's a little handheld tool, kind of like a like a vice grip, so to speak. Um, all right, now I take one of these spacers. And I put them in here. I bring it up to the top of the bottom of the tile. All right. And then to remove the spacers, you hit them on the side. Okay. And the rubber mallet works well. You can use a, a wooden block and a hammer um, so you don't take chances in chipping or damaging your tile surface. Okay. You can use a hammer, but you know, I really don't recommend it. Do not recommend it. All right, I got some thin sets sticking out here. Okay, that can interfere with the next piece of tile going up. That's why I like these nice and clean. And that's how you do that. All right. Now, if you have any gaps on the edge, you can take your margin trial or your or your trial and push it in and work it and then clean it off. You know, hit the edge. All right. And uh, make sure it's nice and clean and smooth before it dries, unless you're um, doing a bunch at one time. So, See that is really thick. I'm going to add some more that polymer to it, liquid polymer, concrete adhesive. Remember, it dries like a plastic. All right, so this is custom tile laying, custom tile installation. You need to do this. Um, that way, you can control and you can actually create a slope on the tile. You can also cut pieces of tile just quarter inch wide, half inch wide, and lay them against your vanity toe kick or on the back side of your toilet, wherever you want to raise the tile to create a slope. Just run them there, put your thin set on, make sure you have enough, test it, and you've got this pre-slope set up just by cutting pieces of tile and using the shim it to bring it up on the back side where you want to have runoff in case the toilet overflows or sink or whatever. Um, I have a video where I've tiled underneath my sink um, where it's all sloped towards the run out of the sink. I've got curbing around the sides. Um, look at my playlist. Uh, it looks really sharp and it will last a lifetime. Um, plus, so Remember, never give up because there's always a way, always. And we just got to find out what that way is, right? So don't give up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I truly mean that. Um, if I'm busy and I don't get right to your comment, keep looking. Come back to the comments. Um, at some point, eventually, a week or two or whatever, I do get back if it's not right away. Um, we can do a Facebook chat, messenger chat, should I say, uh, whatever, however. So take care, tell a friend, save this video for a future reference. The working out in the beginning is something I've uh, started doing here recently, and I'm getting in shape. I have a playlist called Getting Fit with Ken, because Ken needs to get fit. And I show all different types of exercises, regardless of where you're at, you can do these exercises. And I... Uh, Build muscle, get strong, even if you're in a wheelchair. Get up in bed. There's exercises I show you in that Getting Fit with Ken series that I have in a playlist um, that you can do. Or if you're intermediate bodybuilder, you're learning. Um, you've been bodybuilding for a while. I show you some techniques 
that I've developed um, in this. You can use no weights or with weights. So that's, that's all extra. So remember home improvement tips, AKA easy to tips and tricks, etc. So take care. God bless. Bye for now. And truly never give up because there's always a way. Always. God bless and bye.